Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today, Sasha here, and folks, today is a Wednesday, so you know what that means, this is another episode of Wellness Wednesday, I am trying something again with the computer, and um, I think it's going to be better for the, um, how should I say? production and ease of editing but yeah folks another wellness wednesday video for today and i actually wanted to touch upon coronavirus yes again um really didn't notice how bad y'all the florida is compared to like neighboring states and um also the entirety of the united states including u.s te territories um yeah we are pretty bad off um i got some statistics from google which you know can be reliable but the controversy with um floor Floridian statistics is that we don't know if these numbers are legit. I mean, if y'all recall, there was a shakeup with one of the lead scientists, one of the lead epidemiologists. Um, I know her first name is Rebecca. She got fired because she was going to blow the whistle that the numbers that were projected out to the public were not necessarily true they were like hiding the truth and um yeah folks we really haven't done anything um worthy worthwhile to stall the spread so some weird stuff came around concerning you know this pandemic and I just wanted to talk about it and go over it with you all um, this will be like a fairly short video so yeah join me y'all all right first off Florida actually let me go back Florida is one of five states who carry 40% of coronavirus related cases. It is California, Texas, New York, Georgia, and of course, Florida. Um, let me pull up the stats, Google stats. I tend to like Google for um, many of things but um you know with coronavirus numbers eh, is always a, a factor of uncertainty with the um, so also, yeah, while I'm pulling up the Florida, overall Florida stats, um, I want to say that I'm trying out this new setup, and I'm actually using an open box insignia microphone. Um, I hope it's picking up good sound quality because I noticed in the last week's Wellness Wednesday the sound quality was like not good basically um and also the camera quality was not good so i got open box stuff for um the microphone which i'm using right now and the camera that's what i googled So it should come up. Uh, 
Here we go. Perfect. So, folks, you see on the right-hand side, Marion County, which is where I'm at, uh, we have almost 7,000 confirmed cases and 104 deaths. Florida, we're, we're a small town, by the way. We're a small or like we're a small group of towns. We're like it's not like Alachua or which is pretty much the University of Florida, Gainesville, the surrounding area. Um, we're not like Alachua. We're not like Orange County. That's Orlando area. We're not like Hillsboro, Pinellas. Um, that's the Tampa area, Sarasota. We're not like those. Um, major metropolitan areas were definitely not like Miami-Dade, Broward, Palm Beach County, Tri-County, Tri-County um, area down south. But um, according to these numbers, Marion County is the third county with the overall most confirmed cases. That's unheard of. That's ludicrous. But folks, I will say that for the most part, the reason for that being is because people disregard, majority of people, not all people, but majority of people disregard um, like the whole wearing a mask and um, social distancing. Like when folks, when I, okay, remember yesterday when I did my um, Tuesdays with a T episode. I'm trying to think of the daggone series name, y'all. But Tuesdays with a T, y'all. Um, when I drove past the restaurant, the PDQ restaurant, it looked like a almost full capacity um area. In which, you know, you got like four people to a booth. Nobody, I didn't think I see, well, from my perspective. I don't know about um, anywhere else. But from my perspective, I did not see not one mask from patrons. And I mean, of course, you know, it makes sense because people are going there to eat. But... I thought, you know, I thought we weren't operating at full capacity. I thought it was, like, supposed to be half capacity. Um, employees there were wearing face masks. But, I mean, that doesn't matter if um, you got customers in there not given to care about the world. Got You know, in there socializing, eating pretty close to one another. Um, I saw it was, it was around lunchtime too. It was like around peak lunchtime. So we're talking like maybe one, two o'clock in the afternoon. So, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a big eye opener. I'm just like sta staring in awe because I'm like, people forget, they're acting as if this pandemic never happened. But, yeah, I, I'm not surprised now when I seen that because, or I'm not surprised at the fact that we are number three in the state of Florida in terms of getting corona cases, confirmed corona cases, mind you. So, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of times, uh, folks, and this is not just in my neck of the woods. This is also like what others have been saying, like, you know, folks share my same sentiment in which people are saying, well, you know, folks are out here, they're just doing whatever they want, you know, not wearing masks, they, you know, getting in their feelings when they get told to wear a mask or, you know, you can't do business here. And, um, yeah. Another thing is when I was getting groceries, because it's been a while, I was getting groceries and like I noticed from the Walmart that I went to, 
Y'all, the service, the the grocery pickup service was horrendous. Like, I'm pretty sure there were people there from, like, the slated time that they were supposed to be there. Um, they were, like, waiting over an hour. And then that was the case with me. Like, I was supposed to pick up 11 to noon. I got in around 11.30. And, um... I did not leave until one o'clock or one like after one whatever like all of the parking spaces that were specifically marked for pickup were taken so I'm like oh god they're they're way behind they are way behind and um you know some folks they they they're getting kind of antsy they don't want to like go inside the stores i mean i get that i share that same sentiment that's why i did the pickup service but um yeah my thing is um oh boy um you know you can't like like folks still like i think i've had a conversation well, not a conversation. It was just more like a back and forth. Um, but I was telling somebody on a different platform, like, okay, so, yeah, I'm telling you, I don't need somebody to tell me to wear a mask. I wear a mask out of not only my safety, but for the others, for my loved ones, like the others that I'm in constant contact with. But I can't stop, you know person B from walking up, you know, wear, not wearing a mask and, um, you know, potentially infecting the surrounding area. It's scary, but, you know, there's some people who don't think like, or they think their immune system can rid this virus or whatever. It's something that we haven't, um been accustomed to but I mean you know it's just it's really disappointing and it's even kind of like agitating when you get these like stories of people you know having a tantrum they don't want to you know shop at x store or they want to shop at x store but the the mask policy is something so they just you know, have a hissy fit, and they've even, you know, gone to the point of almost harming people, that's happened plenty of times here in Florida, so, and I'm pretty sure it happens in other places too, um, other states too, I mean, I get that, you know, folks are feeling a certain way, they're feeling like a lot of duress, because, they've been cooped up for so long, and you know, really, it's hard on, like, extremely outward extroverts and um you know it's starting to wear it's starting to wear on me too like you know I want to be able to go out and you know live life as you know usual however you know it's like at this point <clears throat> I don't feel comfortable especially with these numbers I don't feel comfortable you know just trying to disregard the facts if you look at we'll, we'll talk we'll touch on some of these other topics too that I'm highlighting but yeah it's it's ridiculous that people have to um think about mandating mask wearing or you know not mandating or banning masks, or banning people not wearing masks, you know, I just think you should do it out of common decency, like, not only decency for yourself, but decency for those that you are coming in contact in, whether you're shopping, you're getting, you're paying for a service, whatever, just put on the mask, and then, 
you know, you see all these. I'm just going over the panhandle. But Marion County, which is where I am, we have, from the last 14 days, we've had 2,740 confirmed cases and 51 deaths. Just from that last two-week span. So, um, yeah, it's a bit much. And then you can see, like, these three counties, Miami-Dade, Palm Beach, Broward. Um, yeah, they got a good chunk of dust, too, and it's scary. Look at that. They they got five-figure, well, not Palm Beach, but Miami-Dade, Broward, they have five-figure, um, cases and it's mainly from people who you know they think they're slick by trying to go to bars and go to um clubs and whatnot when you shouldn't be so i have this video pulled up here we're not going to watch it but i just want you to read the title and you know let that marinate uh, as to why we have such a high covid case count so it says, Florida governor says restaurant workers don't need to test negative COVID-19 tests or don't need negative COVID-19 tests to return to work. Yeah, he said that. And he's acting like it's something that it's okay to say. Are you kidding me? Not only are you being negligent and um, you're just being ignorant on how cases are true or how you know epidemiology is how you know easy a transmission of a virus or a pathogen of any sort is like he's not medically trained or nor does he like give me the vibe of you know he wants to understand what's going on with this virus um because he was one of the ones along with the Georgia governor who was, you know, yeah, let's open up Florida. Let's let's reopen Florida back up. Let's open up the schools. Let's do this. this, this. Yeah, he was quick to do that. And now he's saying for restaurant um, workers, hey, if you tested COVID positive one time, and it's been, a, it's been a while, it's been, what, 14 days? That's the incubation period they tell you. He says, yep, you can return back to work. Uh, he Does he not know that you can get reinfected? It's not like, okay, if you get infected once, you're free and clear because you have the antibodies. No, apparently this um, virus is very mutagenic. That's the problem. That's why we don't have a vaccine like, um, you know, point blank. That's why we don't have a treatment Um well, uh, widely available treatment just yet. It's because this virus is so mutagenic, it's not able to be um, dormant enough to give a sound treatment, a successful sound treatment. That's the problem. Um, don't, don't even get me started on hydroxychloroquine. Uh, I have no comment for that that's like a that's like a video in itself if you will but um yeah you have our share of banning masks while other public leaders are saying yeah maybe we need a mandate so you know damn going to uh sheriff's the sheriff's office or something because you're likely to get infected running around folks that don't have masks and, um, yeah, some of the schools are opening up and they're saying that children are testing positive. And, um, well, some are arguing, well, children weren't the target. So when you test them, of course, they're going to have the, um, the, of course, the numbers are going to be higher. But folks were saying kids can't get it. You know what I'm saying? They think because they're young and whatever, but their immune systems are building up. They're not fully fleshed out. 
So, like, I, I think it was a terrible idea. I thought I think it's a terrible idea to open up schools, like face to face schools. Um, there should be like I know there was like hybrids, and um, there was this one um, post that I saw that was pretty sound. It's that the older older children the teenagers high school age um children they should stay at home the i guess middle and elementary school really elementary school should take the high school facilities and um because those classrooms are bigger so that they can properly social distance um the kids especially the elementary school kids they they're not going to have a mask on the those entire like 8 hours that they're on school or whatever so you know it, it it's just a sticky situation no matter how you put it and um yeah i do like that you can see what's going on with the numbers but um yeah like the death toll is is um climbing which is not good uh i think worldwide yeah worldwide we're almost at three-fourths of a million and then um united states we're approaching 200,000 and they're saying that by the end of the year because we're not dealing with hot humid um temperatures but the United States this number will probably double which is very scary for deaths I mean for deaths um Florida like in terms of confirmed cases we are already past half a million which is crazy. But um, I think it's interesting that we don't have any data on how many people have recovered. And, um, you know, it's, it's just a big mess of a situation we got put in. Um, some people put themselves in it. And then other people, unfortunately, they just got caught in the crossfire. But yeah, folks, um, that's going to do it for this episode of Wellness Wednesday. Um, this is just the reason why I'm not really going to be out as much unless, you know, I have a job that I have to be out. But if I can help, you know, staying indoors, I will. Um, you know, there's... Um, I wouldn't want to get myself like exposed, you know, that would really not be good, you know, because we don't know what this thing can do. They say that this virus, since it's a pulmonary or a lung issue, you know, it could permanently affect your lungs after incubation. So I really wouldn't chance it because, um, you know, as we get older, our bodies tend to not perform at peak um, as compared to when we were like in our late teens, 20s, and early 30s, and 30s, and whatnot. So, yeah, um, it's just a sense of realism, but I'm just making do with, you know, what's being presented. And, folks, this is why I always say, you know, at the closing, please, if you go out, wear a mask, have hand sanitizer. Do not let this um, virus invade you and, you know, you're another number. You're another notch under the coronavirus's um, belt, you know. So, um, yeah, y'all, with that being said, that's going to do it. But folks, I want you all to take care, take it easy. Oh, and um, I, I'm jumping the gun here, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. 
Any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave it in the comment section below. Any and all are welcome, greatly appreciated. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the topics that I review and talk about. Um, let me know about this format, y'all, if there's like any other type of topic I want to talk about. I'd like to do this style of video versus me just, you know, sitting in front of the camera and doing the same thing. I think this is much nicer on the eyes since you got something to look at. But, um, yeah, just let me know in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, folks, I'm going to go ahead, take care of some business. But as I sign off, y'all know I want y'all to take care, take it easy, make it a great day today and every day. Be safe, stay vigilant, don't go out unless you necessarily have to. If you do, please wear a mask, please have some hand sanitizer on deck, wash your hands thoroughly, do all that good stuff so that you can stay protected from this virus. And, um, yeah, folks, I will see you tomorrow for Thirsty Thursday. Um, I think I have an idea of what I want to, um, try for you all on Thirsty Thursday. So, yeah. And other than that, y'all, um, this is Sasha signing out. So, until next video, ladies and gents, thank you again for stopping on by. And, bye now. <laughs>